Hello Church, happy Friday, and thank you for joining me for this devotional. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about wedding vows. I was talking with a friend recently about marriage. Um, Jason and I have been married for just over 20 years, and we have had some really great seasons in our marriage. We have both grown in a number of ways, and not just in our waistlines, but as two people into one. Our lives can no longer be separated. They are intertwined. What happens to one of us will happen to both of us. Well, while I was thinking about the process of how this happens, I started thinking about our wedding vows, to love and to cherish. I will love and cherish Jason all the days of my life to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. And I've promised these things, Jason promised these things, in front of God, in front of our family and friends. And we made these vows together. So I started to think about what has happened in this process to encourage that, to keep us strong, and it's the struggles. I discovered in the thought um, that we, the struggles have made us dig deeper into um, our marriage. The struggle is where we have clung to each other and depended on God. And so that's the secret really is that um, we have clung to each other but really wrapped ourselves around God. And when the dark days um, have passed, when we've gotten through the struggle, we are able to enjoy the lightness and the fun. As I thought of these things, I realized that the process of becoming one with Jason was the same process with which I have grown in Christ. The vows that I just repeated to you, the love and cherish for better or worse, rich or poor, sickness and health, they also apply to my faith. I love God for richer, for poorer, sickness and in health, the good days and the bad days. Through my dark days, through the dark days, my devotion to Christ remains. No matter how the winds will blow, how big or how little my bank account balance is at the moment, if I'm fighting sickness or I'm healthy as ever. As it has with Jason, my life has intertwined with Christ. We can no longer be separated. What Christ has done affects my life in all ways. And that's not by my power. That's only in Christ's power. What today was, uh, good or bad, was designed to grow my devotion to him. Designed by him, built by him, to grow my devotion in him. As believers... You and I, we are the body of Christ, but we are also the bride of Christ. In a wedding ceremony, both the bride and groom vow these promises to each other. And we know that we know that God keeps his promises. He has promised to return for his bride. That's you and me. He has gone to prepare a place for us. Our bridegroom, the carpenter, is building it now. God is using these days, these good and bad days, these strengthening moments to draw us into him further so that we know that we know our strength comes from him. I hope that you will think about these things and your vows um, to your husband or your wife, but also to Christ. Church, I love you, and God willing, I'll see you soon. Bye.